everybody and welcome back to my channel. My friend asked me to do a video on my highlighters. She loves highlighters and today I'm wearing MAC by Candlelight for reference. I have two of these. MAC came out with this a long time ago. It was limited edition. It hasn't come out in a really long time. As you can see, I have gotten down. I do have a backup of this, but I I pretty much wear this almost every day. Um, if I'm running late, as you can see this morning, I was running late and I just love this. It's really nice on pale skin. And another one of my favorite highlighters, if you're looking for a subtle highlighter, I'm not sure if this got discontinued. I heard a rumor that this was discontinued and if so, I would be sad. This is the Dior Diamond Rose Highlighter. And this is it right here. It's very subtle, it's very pretty, and it lasts a good while on your skin. It's just very subtle. Let me see if I can get a little bit more. I'm not sure if the camera is really picking it up, but it's right there. It's really pretty uh, for a first care pale skin. And I did get a sample of the Becca, what is this, Opal? because the Moonstone, I got that, and I'm not crazy about the other one, the Moonstone, because it looks kind of chalky on me, so, but I think this is way too dark for my skin, and I've been using this as eyeshadow. I'll put a cream shadow on, and then I'll put this on top, and it's a really pretty, like, goldy bronzy color, and I've been using this as eyeshadow, so if you have this and you don't know what to do with it, I would highly recommend you use this as eyeshadow. If I just need to go somewhere quick, um, I'll put this on as eyeshadow real quick, and this is great. I would buy this again, the huge highlighter, just for to use it as eyeshadow. And I bought these a while back. These are the e.l.f. highlighters. I have Passion Pink. And this is Peachy Cheek. And these don't stay on very well unless you use MAC Fix or something like that on them. When I did wear them, I did use MAC Fix and I liked the way that it looked. I just didn't like that you had to use a separate product for it to work. But for the price, you can't beat it. I think they're like two bucks or something like that. So I got these during the e.l.f. sale around Christmas time. And I have the white one somewhere around here, but I couldn't find it. Oh wait, here it is right here. This is called Pinktastic. And this is one of the lighter ones. And I'm not sure if you're going to be see these at all, but that's it right there. I found that if you didn't use them with wetting a brush and using them it didn't last very long at all so um just get you can use like eye drops or elf actually makes a mac fix kind of a product that you can get and the last few things that i have this is limited edition from mac it's technically a beauty powder but it's a highlighter blush in my opinion since i'm so pale and this is limited edition. This is the Liberty of London packaging. And I actually have a backup of it already. It's Shell Pearl. It's a nice peachy pink kind of a blush slash highlighter. Um, it's really amazing. Usually when I go on trips, I'll travel with this so I don't have to bring so many products because it's a blush and highlighter in one. And in the wintertime, I love to wear this. This is the Lorac Exposed. It's like a satin, it's called a baked matte satin blush. Again, it's called Exposed. It used to have a pretty high dome and I've used that a lot over the years. And it's just a really pretty peachy pink and it wakes up your skin, especially in the wintertime. Look how pigmented that is. You definitely do not need very much. I usually use a brush like this when I apply it because you don't need that much pigment at all. The first time I put it on with the other brush, I was like, whoa, and I had to blend it out with a kabuki because it was way too much pigment, pigment for my skin. And if you're one of those people looking for your Holy Girl highlighter, I've gone through at least eight to 10 of these over the past 10 years. I'm talking about the Smashbox 
soft lights and this is in the color shimmer the color has nothing to do it does not have big chunks of glitter or anything like that it will give you a natural subtle glow they do have the soft lights in different colors so if you're a darker tone you can use a darker color I think they have a peachy one but I've always gotten this one and it just leaves a natural kind of a glow so it doesn't even look like highlighter it's just amazing I highly recommend this it's so easy to use one of these pots right here will last me a good over a year so it is good for the price i think they're around 20 ish bucks and it will last you over a year so i highly recommend this number one and i really wish that mac would make this permanent because i would buy this all the time i've heard soft and gentle is good for mac but I have two of these so I won't buy it until I'm completely out of these and that is it for my highlighter collections please let me know what your favorite highlighter is in and if you like any of these thanks and remember subscribe bye